Hey, today we're doing a catch, clean, and cook this large mullet. Stay tuned. It's catching mullet, end of December, right here in Florida. Nice, eh? All right. It's wintertime fishing at the inlet for all these nice fish. This doctor very, very hungry. Oh boy, only yesterday the weather was nice in Florida. Look at it. My feet in the east right now. Oh yes. That's a big wave. We're still going fishing. Okay, we're up at the inlet this Monday morning. I'm not so sure if you can hear me clearly because of all the wind. But look what we get. We got some big roll mullet. We got some black drum. And some speckled trout. We just got here. I'm gonna do a quick intro before we get it's gonna rain. But look at the weather too. Everybody dressed like Eskimo. So that's what we're catching today. Some big mullet. We're gonna cut them open. We're gonna get a roll. We're gonna smoke the mullet. Make something nice. So stay tuned. Wow, I don't know if you can see it, but look at a large school of mullet jumping right in front of my line. All right, let me go grab the net. I'm gonna see if I can catch any of these mullet. It's very windy, so I don't know if the net is gonna go down properly. So, you know, this this is very high. This, this bridge is about 50, 60 feet, I'm guessing. So, you know, my line, the, the rope for any cast net you're gonna use here, gotta be a long rope. So I joined two sets of cast net rope to make this one. So that's the um, height that is usually appropriate for this um, height of, of the bridge. So right, let's get going. These mullet move very quickly. They go from left to right, in and out the inlet. So you just got to follow them sometime. Make sure you get, get the right throw. But these are the big row mullet. Almost all of these mullet should have eggs. And the egg rolls should be very, very big right now because it's late December. It's the last week in December. They're still here. Let me just move this rod out of the way because you know, sometimes you want space. Oh my, there's a lady standing over there at about 10 rods too. Yep, you see they're moving to the right. They keep moving, so I got to go get them too. Keep following them, make sure I don't lose sight of them. These mullet are very, very tasty. These are the big sea mullet. I know in Guyana we used to call these a uh, quarry man. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, quarry man. Maybe somebody can drop me a comment to let me know, you know, how often do they catch these in, in wherever they're living. All right, let me just get over here. It's gonna be difficult to throw amongst all these rods. Let me hope these mullet move out in the opening so I don't have to throw over here. Yes, they move back to the left, so they're going back to where I was. Alright, let's go. Uh, those are the big ones. Yeah. Okay, now they're, they're out in the open, so I can see them. Yep, you see them jumping right there? You let them keep they're coming to the left. See how much I can get. The wind is very strong. It's coming from left to right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I feel something. All right, let's see how much I got. Oh yeah, it's kind of heavy. It is heavy. Look at how big these mullet are. Big, heavy mullet. Oh man, I got just a little and it didn't open properly, so this is gonna be a nice one. Let me get the um, cooler open.
Even though it was a cool morning, the fish were still biting. You know, we had lots of fish this day. Today, this one here first was a uh, whiting. If you never had whiting before or don't know what a whiting looks like, it's a very nice uh, white meat fish. It runs along the coast. Very, very tasty. It is also said that whitings are one of the fish that has the least amount of mercury of fish. So here's what it looks like. And I usually keep all my whitings because we usually fry it up or steam it. But they're very tasty fish. This was a black drum. This was a small one. These fish usually grow really, really big. So these smaller ones are called puppy drum. So very, very tasty when they're young. I mean, lots of people like them too. But I like them just when they're small like this. Oh, you're gonna love this one. This one is a lot of people's favorite. This is a speckled trout or sea trout, they call this too. But it's very, very nice. Um, the inlet usually have them. But you know, if you're, they're very finicky, very, very, very picky when they when they're feeding. So you gotta have the right bait. Usually live shrimp or some small mullet, finger mullet. You can use bigger mullet too for the big giant ones. Those are called gator trout, but this is a nice eaten size one. This one was 17 inches and it was very, very good. So very fat, very heavy fish, very tasty. All right, hope you do enjoy this one here too. And here are some more whitings. You know, I have a few rods out, so that's why I'm, they're, they're scattered. So I'm not gonna show you just this one more whiting. Then we're gonna head home. Weather's getting cold. Didn't expect to catch all this fish today at the inlet. Hey, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I do have lots of other fishing content on, on my channel. I do a lot of pier fishing. We're going to start doing some surf fishing coming up. Pompano is going to be running soon. But yes, there's what we're catching. Lots of mullet, trout, black drum. Here's some whitings. I'm going to go home now. We're going to clean up some fish. This is what we got today. Just came back from the inlet. You can see on the previous video, on the previous clip, I caught maybe about 15 or 16 of them. wasn't wasn't counting, but I gave away quite a few, and I only kept three of them. Three of the really big ones. Check out the size of this one. Three quarters the size of the cooler. I'm gonna check him just now to see if they have eggs too. I'm gonna go fry that up live. And a lot of people like stew mullet, but I'm thinking about making a smoked fish dip. The holidays just around the corner, you know. Let's cut this one and see what that. Fish so fresh. Check out rows and rows of eggs. Clean them the rest, and then we're gonna get inside, fry up some eggs. Then we're gonna do the mullet a different way. Hey, so these are the eggs and the mullet. Uh, 
uh, I took these eggs over to my friend's house in Orlando, and that's where he cooked it up. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the actual cooking, which he did live on Facebook. And here's the um, channel that, it, that he did it on. It's Being Rocky and Family. He also has a YouTube channel, Being Rocky, so do check him out. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon in my other video.